researchers uncovered an intriguing link between potassium intake and stroke risk. And the reason for that link is this. Blood pressure is a key risk factor for strokes, and potassium helps to lower blood pressure. But how strong is the connection in practice? Well, a massive study in China sheds light on this question. It evaluated the impact of a salt substitute on those who had already had a stroke to see if it reduced how often these individuals had another stroke. So let me explain the intervention here. A salt substitute swaps out regular salt for an alternative formula. So standard salt is sodium chloride, and a salt substitute used in the study was about 75% sodium chloride, and the other 25% was potassium chloride. So that modified formula does two things at once. It helps people to lower their sodium intake. So this is great, because too much sodium in our diet, it raises our blood pressure. But the salt substitute, it also boosts potassium intake, and potassium helps to lower blood pressure. So the effects here are synergistic. Researchers followed these people up for five years, and those in the salt substitute group had a 14% lower incidence of recurrent strokes. And when looking at hemorrhagic strokes specifically, the incidence was 30% lower, and they also had a 21% lower risk of stroke-related deaths. Then there's a massive meta-analysis of studies of potassium intake and stroke risk. So the lowest risk was at a daily intake of above 3,500 milligrams. So relative to an intake of those at a lower intake of about 1,100, there was a striking 33% lower risk of strokes. So a natural point at this question is this. How can I get 3,500 milligrams of potassium every day? Well, the best way is to focus on diet. So scientists have actually developed a diet designed to lower blood pressure. It's called the DASH diet, which stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. And it includes lots of potassium-rich foods, like leafy green vegetables, and a meta-analysis that looked at studies linking adherence to the DASH diet and stroke risk. So those who stuck closer to the diet had a 12% lower stroke risk than those who didn't follow it as well. And it was a linear relationship. So that just means that the closer that the people followed the DASH diet, the better stroke outcomes they had.